This is Sports Drive. Welcome back into Sports Drive once again. I'm your host, Preston Moore. I mentioned we'd be talking a little bit about that spectacular men's basketball season that West Texas A&M just had. Final Four appearance, one of the only in school history, making it back to the Final Four, unfortunately falling at the very end to Minnesota State, who went on to win the Division II National Championship. Joining me to talk a little bit about that season is Panhandle Sports Star's Alan Robertson. Alan, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm fantastic, blessed, and highly favored. A great, great day. I mean, we're, we're getting ready for the, 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 the spring weather. I mean, with that, lots of, of great performances in, in, in spring sports, left, right, and center with WT Athletics. But, um, I mean, as mentioned, you know, one of the bigger things that has been quite the, the talking point throughout these past couple of weeks and months has been just how amazing of a season it was for, uh, for Coach Brown in the, in the men's basketball team from this past season. I mean, uh, just absolute dominance in, in a lot of different ways, for sure. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's it's so interesting to me to think about just the the amount of uh, the amount of heart that this team had, and the amount of seniors, uh, the amount of heart that these seniors had, specifically uh, the three that are outgoing. I know Cameron Bell has one year left of eligibility, but Rylan Holt, uh, Larry Wise, and Zach Toussaint, all three have given so much to the program, have done so much. Uh, for for the team, obviously, Rylan Holt transferring only had two years with him, but Larry Wise, obviously, as well, uh, spectacular player, won many awards this year. And then Zach Toussaint, what is there uh, to say that hasn't been said? Second all-time uh, on the all-time scoring list for WT. When you think about this season in a Final Four appearance, I mean, what do you think it means to the to the school, to the program, and, and to the community? I, I mean, from from the the program itself, and then expanding out a little bit more. I mean, you know, we we've spoken to you know whether it be Coach Brown, Coach Chavlovic, Coach Gove, uh, some of the players even throughout throughout the past, uh, not just this season, but in the cases of especially those those three guys uh, for some time now, at least a year year plus. And you know, while there have been amazing performances from those guys throughout the years, whether you know while there's been some great teams and great team wins. Over these past couple of years, something just felt different when it came to this team. I mean, you know, as mentioned, despite uh, despite the close loss uh, down the stretch against Minnesota State uh, just a week and change ago, uh, the best season that I've seen as a as a, a former student athlete there, uh, uh, still a fan, very much alum. The list goes on and on as far as how I've seen WT athletics and how I've seen WT basketball. Uh, I remember watching Coach Chavlovic out there and you know still all time leading scorer and like absolute bucket getter and an amazing leader of guys being being a part of this coaching staff with coach brown and just everything just felt like you know there's no such thing as perfect anything but something it just felt so close to a, a perfect storming up in a perfect concoction of what it is that separates good from great and great from championship caliber teams i mentioned it plenty of times uh, on my show with a sports star like to, to have those types of intangibles to have the leadership qualities from those guys to have the the guys leading by example and of course everything coming coming together and culminating while being out there on the floor i mean the the, the biggest word and i've spoken about it i'm sure you've spoken about it a couple different times as well the, the biggest thing that i took away from the season from a team perspective has been selflessness uh, from mm -hmm. all of the newcomers coming in, from the leadership of those guys, and obviously all the way up top when it comes to Coach Gove and Coach uh, Coach Brown, mm -hmm. everything felt it's not about me getting my numbers. Like we know right. that guys like Larry Wise is the leading scorer for that team for a reason, regional player of the year. Like we know all of those things for a reason. But in certain moments, certain certain bits of of guys' games were able to adapt. You know, whether it was ugly shooting nights uh, against Colorado Mesa in the regional final, whether it's been close wins uh, against team against uh, uh, Colorado Mesa the first time they played over right. at the High Desert Classic over in Nevada. Like, it, you just had all the intangibles that coaches spend so much time talking about for very, very valid reasons. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to all of those types of cliches, all of those types of, of talking points and phrases, it trickles down to the community. I mean, the, yeah, the, this definitely. panhandle community has been very much a, a connective group, a, a family type of group, and it, it just felt like a great reflection of the community, a great reflection mm -hmm. of West Texas A&M. And, you know, I, I can't help but think that it's, there's some of that trickle down with some of the other teams across campus as well. You mentioned it. Softball has been absolutely amazing. Baseball, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the track team just coming back from Texas Relays, right. amazing performances from them to say the least. And so it, it, it's just, again, a perfect example of just how great things have been with West Texas A&M throughout these mm -hmm. past couple of months. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I couldn't have said it better myself. Alan, we're, we're running short on time right now. We got to hear from some of those coaches actually later <laughs> in the show uh, and hear, hear their thoughts on the season and everything. But Alan, once again, thank you for coming on the show, talking a little bit of WT. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more Sports Drive right after this break.